We are susceptible to mass hypnosis when we do not know true nature and we believe ourselves to be our thoughts. And our thoughts, our thought activity, our beliefs, our opinions, our narratives are influenced by the information that we are force fed through media. <laughs> I'll just put it that way. So if we get fear coming through the media over and over again in different forms, then fear is what we're going to yes. take on as an inner construct that we need to be afraid of this. We need to be afraid of that. There's danger lurking around every corner and so on. This is mass hypnosis. So it is relevant in that that has intensified because we are all connected through the through the web and we have this information all the time, most of that information is distorted. Mm. Now, that's all I will say, but mm. that's why it's important and fundamental that we wake up out of that hypnosis. Mm. And the only way to do that, to truly do that, is not to change your mind and believe something different, alternative or whatever, <laughs> but, to, but to go beyond that and discover who you are not who you are as a personality, but what you are. We can call this spiritual transformation. I don't see it as spiritual anymore. Inner transformation, a transformation of consciousness, where we come to know our essential nature, which is complete, whole, simple, direct, natural beingness. And that beingness is always here. I am, I am, I am. I am aware of I am because I am. That presence, that's presence and openness. Presence and openness are aspects of I am. When you discover who you are, what you are, I prefer to say, your fundamental nature, then you know that you are not opinion, you are not subject to what others tell you to believe, and you are not actually subject to fear anymore because the veils of perception start coming undone. Coming undone. And you have a natural birthright or, your, or the birthright, the intelligence of your natural birthright, which is to know yourself and to know reality, to know life. Yeah, not the world that you're, you see on your screen or in the newspaper, but you know life in this moment as whole, complete, good and God. <laughs> That's all it is. Love. So then you start living as that. You start living as love rather than living as fear. Mm. 